Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin and I want to talk about Legion. I want to talk a lot about Legion because I want this to be an awesome expansion. A lot of people like to wait until, you know, an expansion comes out or a patch comes out and then they make videos or discussions talking about in hindsight what could have been done better. Well, I want to take all the factors in Legion that could go wrong and I want to emphasize the point what I, what I would like to see and what I think would be good about it. This, I want to outline certain key things about Legion that I hope Blizzard was right in order to make the Legion expansion good rather than a flop or you know or that of Draenor I guess where we are the lowest point of subscribers, the lowest point of PvP peers, lots of disbalancing and a lot of complaints. So let's get on to the video. So first thing I want to talk about is the story. Legion is bringing us near Sergeras and this story is going to be something new but like in Wrath and BC it builds off of the original lore. Lore wise Wrath and BC did pretty good but coming up with new stuff like in Cataclysm Miss of Pandaria, anyone Warlord Jenner, some people didn't care for the lore, some people got confused with the lore, and they just didn't know where it's all going. Lore wise, an expansion either makes it or breaks it, and people loved BC and people loved Wrath as there was a huge climb in subscribers. Even if PvP me was weird, maybe even PvE was a little weird, it was buggy, people cared about the story and their character being part of this world with this rich story. But in Kata, they summoned some they had some dragon that destroyed the world, Maelstrom, nobody really cared. MOP, Pandarian, cool, but nobody cared about the Shah. And then in Draenor, it was about like, time travel in a different universe, but not really... It was weird, so I just hope, story-wise, Legion does it right. Next on the topic is artifact weapons, and I put a huge emphasis on this one. Because I, I won't be surprised if some weapons or specs get some unoriginal weapons, or some story with the weapon quest just isn't that interesting. There are 36 different specs to cover, including Demon Hunter specs, so I hope the weapons are going to be interesting per spec. Then again, it is a big number of specs to cover, so I won't be surprised if the design team or the story writing team is just, you know, runs out of ideas. The way I level them and upgrade them could either be mediocre or make no difference in playstyle or turn completely into cookie cutter which would be the worst case scenarios. And I hope that they make it customizable. Like really customizable. Make every option as viable as an X, examples like strong passes versus strong procs. I just hope the weapons will be really just help you shape the way you play as a character. But I hope that it's not going to be like cookie cutter like one build is better than the other. I really hope they allow us to customize the way we want to play and let us play the way we want to play without making a huge impact on whether we're doing well or not within the game as it is. Next on the list is class halls. Easy, just make them more relevant than garrisons. The fact that you go all over Azeroth just to get a class hall is awesome, but it's like a garrison-like mechanic. For example, so many people wanted to sail the open seas with the garrison shipyard added, but nobody will get the chance because that's not what the shipyards are for. It's just a garrison addition, you just send, instead of heroes, ships to the missions to bring you stuff. I wouldn't personally know how to make class halls better than garrisons, because simply just the garrison and the whole idea of class hall is new to me and a lot of other players, but I hope the minds behind them come up with an interesting design of how they work, how they function, and how they can stay relevant throughout the expansion. Demon Hunters is the next big topic. I hope they fit well with the rest of the crowd. They are a lore-rich class with borrowed mechanics of other classes. I hope that they are fun, and even if some spells might feel like they're of other classes, I just hope they feel unique enough once you play in the class to identify it from others. I also kind of hope in the future we don't describe Demon Hunter as kind of like a rogue with some warlock-like spells. Example, Holy Paladin vs Holy Priest. Both are holy by the spec's name, but they're so different from one another, in more than one way. I hope it's that kind of weakness that will be given to Demon Hunters. And a quick note on Demon Hunters in terms of balancing within like other classes, PvP and whatnot. I'd rather Demon Hunters start out as OP rather than underpowered. If they're weak from the start of the game, then people will get a bad taste in their mouths and will regard the, cra the class overall as crappy, even after rebalancing. I'd rather have them have a good foot forward, even if it's an oversized, overbuffed first impression, but then balance it downwards, because this way people will see how cool the Demon Hunter is, and then they'll be like, oh well, this is overpowered, and when they bounce down, then they feel more like from OP to fair, rather than from underpowered to actually finally decent. I mean, it's just a perception, but a lot of people will enjoy having a strong class, scale down to balance with everyone else, rather than like a weak class and then having people wait until it's finally, you know, balanced out, kind of like a monk. 
Big one for me here, PvP talents. I personally think if they're going to rework the system, the whole PvP system, I hope that they pay close attention to every class and their PvP talents. It would be kinda weak if we were forced to build cookie cutter builds, and if certain specs benefit from talent at much greater magnitude than their counterparts, I feel like that would be just disappointing because all of us have seen the whole cookie cutter thing happen time and time again. Even back in Pretty Shoot and Wrath, I know in Kata there was a lot of cookie cutter builds and some specs weren't even just able to PvP at all. MOP also created kind of like, you know, more talents to choose from, but for the most part they were cookie cutter as well. And in Draenor, it's the same system of MOP, it's not that much different. What I hope is, there will be some serious work put into them. This alone could make PvP the greatest thing in the world, but it also has the power to crush it to dust. Wow PvP has never truly been balanced. It only came really close for certain seasons. My season example for a balanced PvP was season 15, and it felt like a pretty good season. I was able to play Combat Rogue at 2k rating. It was pretty cool. It was kind of balanced for me. But back in MOP, it felt like the most balanced season, though if you look back, it was all about god comps and LSDs racking up the points in arenas. And that's what it was. It was a season 15 of LSDs and god comps. People had to settle with the sub balanced PvP system for a while now, and I just hope they do their very best to come up with an exciting, just balanced, just some really, really cool system, just to finally make it all seem fair. And if they can include as many specs in the game as possible into this PvP system, that would be awesome. So, that, that's a big one that I'm really, 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 really hopeful about. And this has been my list of the things that I hope do well in Legion, and... Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, subscribe, follow on Twitter and Twitch and everything. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Um, again, let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next video.